Hey everyone, in this screencast I wanted to talk about how I created the graphics for this uh, demo course that I that I created. Now it's actually an e-learning hero challenge from last year uh, and the theme for the week was creating a bingo game and, and DevLearn was on at the time or, or about to be on so I decided to, to theme it around that and essentially all you do is click on the different people and they the image changes and you can see how many points they're worth and, and there's a score down it down in the bottom corner and what I wanted so what I wanted to show you today was was how I created those images and and you know made them change um, uh, using storyline so I'm going to jump across to storyline now and and and, um, and a new project and all I've done is on, on a brand new slide I've just formatted the background and inserted a, a picture of, of some stars of, of space because the idea was that you know these people were kind of like the stars for me for, for DevLearn and what I did um, outside of Storyline was I actually um, cropped all of the images to circles okay so I pre-did that and had them all saved as circle images and then all I did was insert them onto the slide and position them and resize them. So what I needed to do was come up with a way of how I can, you know, present the the pictures and also, you know, show who it is once they they're clicked on and how many points they're worth. So what I did was, um, and and this a lot of this came from trial and error, but essentially I I selected an image and and the first thing I did was I wanted to put a border around the edge. Um, of them just so that it stood out a little bit more so I just chose a white border so the picture border under the formatting tab and and if you want to you can play around with the weight which is the thickness of, of the line so I could actually make it a bit thicker if I wanted to so it kind of really stands out and sort of pops a little bit on the screen and then the next thing I, I needed to do was to create um, a different look for the image once it was clicked and then be able to say who the person was so in this case for David, I actually um, uh, created another state for the image. So if I go down to the states area, and I'll actually undock my states panel so we can see it. So we have the normal state, how the image is on the slide when it was created. And I'm actually going to create a new state. So to do that, I'm going to click the edit states button, and then I'm going to select this little page symbol, and it's to create a new state. Now, ordinarily, you can just name your states and um, you know put in triggers to change them to that state, which is what I did. But in this for this particular example, I wanted to have it that the person could only click on the um, image once and get the points once for for the clicking on that person. So I actually wanted to that when the per when the image was clicked on, that it actually became what's known as disabled, or or then it, it can't be clicked anymore. Now. I can't just call this the new state disabled because it won't actually have the properties of, of not working. To do that I actually, and for these other kind of states that you want to use, you actually need to select them from the drop down box. So just calling a, a new state hover doesn't give it hovering properties um, or visited or selected properties and the same for this one for, for disabled. So I wanted to have those properties built in so I needed to select it from the list. So I, I added a state called disabled. Now, whenever you create a new state, it always looks like the normal state. So I needed then to make it look a little bit different. So all I did was um, in the formatting tab for the image, I just went over and I just adjusted the brightness. And again, it was a little bit of experimentation to, to sort of get the right level that I wanted. But I start with say something like 30%. So we can see that there's a definite difference in the the two images. So that does look a little bit different. And I also wanted at this point to um, display the person's name and, and how many points they were worth. So all I did was then insert a text box. And I'll just draw it up here to start with and put in some details. So David Anderson he was worth 50 points and I'll just format that font out make it a bit bigger using the arrow keys here and because by default the font is black um, that's not really going to look good so I'm actually going to change the font color 
to white as well and then I can reposition this box because remember I'm still in the edit states mode so that this um, text box is going to appear when the, dis when the, the state has changed to disabled so now I have David's name and his point value. So now I have my two states, they look different. The disabled is darker and has the name on it. So now that I'm finished, I can say done editing states. And I have my, my new state for David. Now, I could go through the process and do all of that for all of the other pictures on the screen. Put a border on, create a new disabled state for everyone. But there is a, a way that I can save a little bit of time, and that's by using in the Home tab, Format Painter. Now if you've used Format Painter in your other Microsoft applications it works um, the same. You can apply the formatting from one object to other objects and you always, and like I've done in this case, you set one of the one object up that has all the right formatting and we can copy that across to all of, to other objects that we want the, to have the same formatting. Now if I click Format Painter once I can copy the formatting and select another object and then I can go back and click Format Painter again. However, what I can also do is on my object that I have the formatting right for, if I double click Format Painter it actually turns it on and leaves it on so that I can apply it to multiple objects. So by double clicking I can leave it turned on and I can go and apply that formatting to all of my other circles. And then when I'm finished I can turn it off again. Now the only thing is with when you're copying the formatting across, if I look at say this picture of Ron and look at his states, I have the two states, I've got the, the colouring the same, the only thing I need to go and change for every person is to edit the disabled state for each person and change the text box to reflect their name and maybe reposition the um, the text box if I needed to or I could just format it like that so that it'll look the same and then I could go across and do that for all of my other um, images and I'll have that formatting and that copied across everything. Then obviously the only thing that would be left to do then would be to add triggers to say change the state to the disabled state when that object is clicked. So that would be a, a separate thing. Um, but essentially, that's how I, I customised uh, some graphics for this eLearning Hero Challenge demo using um, creating a new state, using a border, uh, adjusting the brightness, and then format using Format Painter to copy that state to all of my other images. And then all I had to do was rename them all so that it reflected their name. Well, that's it. See you next time.